Hey guys, welcome to my channel, Data Driven Decisions. In this channel, I talk about the data science and related technology kind of stuff. So if you're down for that, please uh, subscribe to my channel and check out the awesome videos I create. So let's further do, let's get started for today's video. So today's video is all about the sets in Julia and Python. So set is a data type. So if I write it, like what are the things you're going to learn for today is this. So first is what is set okay two is how to add elements to set three is is set is indexable so we will just try to find out those question answers in this particular video so if i just remove this and see how it is going to work so first what i'll do is uh, i just uh, i have already created these things so so today i'll start from the julia first and then python so for Julia, how do you uh, like declare a particular array? So you can see, you can just create an array using that, using the third bracket. Third bracket, 2, 3, 3, 4, 5, 5, 6, 1, 17. That is the elements which I have given in the particular array. So over there, you can uh, see that like there are some of the things like, uh, there are some of the things are there. So there are two times three okay there are two times five okay so the other two times so set is basically on ordered collection of unique items so this is a list in list they could have uh, two items the same items multiple times but in set it is not going to work so if i just run this particular cell you will understand that so if i go there and if i run this okay see if i run this then you can see that this is the array basically two three three four five five six one seventeen now if i just try to create a set out of that how do you do that so there is a particular function in julia that is called the set so act s is capital l act and l l is basically list so ac is a set equals to act list and if i run this particular cell here you will see the difference between the array and set okay so you can see that it is unordered there is no any order in the numbers over there and there is no any duplicate elements over there so there were two times three so now it become two one only and there were Two times five now it has become only one so now it is a unique element that is unordered so that's the definition of set so now i'll just see the same thing in python how it is going to work okay so the python i'm going to do the similar sort of things so python array is basically called list so if i run this cell the same thing same list i'm declaring here so if i do this okay okay just a minute uh, okay okay python sets hmm. so now if i just run this particular cell here if i just run this you can see that like in python set also uh, I think set also like there is no two times three, there is no two times five, there is only one time five and three. So it's a unique. But there is a difference. But in Python uh, definition it is called the unordered. But here whenever you do something like this, it is already been ordered in Python. That is what I have observed. So you can see that like one, two, three, it is a uh, it is it has been already shorted. But in Julia, uh, that was not the case. In Julia you will go there and see that uh, it is not the thing like it is not ordered one is not the first then two then three and all 
but in python that is the case so that's the one difference you can see <clears throat> okay so now we're going to see how to add an element to a uh, set object so to add a particular element so right now so right now there are this element like one two three four five six seven so there are seven elements okay there are seven elements now i'm going to add this particular element that is eight to this particular list okay to this particular set so how do you do that there is a particular function that is called push push then bracket then you give the name of the set that is s and then comma the element you would like to add in the set object so that is a eight that is that has been written over here so if i just uh, delete this and go there okay. so if i run this particular cell <clears throat> you can see that eight has been added over there so eight has been added so now five four six two eight seventeen i know there was only eight now there is a eight has been added over there so similarly if i want to remove something from the uh, set object what you can do is a pop okay pop exclamation mark then s yes, the element you would like to remove from the set so that is five so five is there the first so i'll just remove those okay so if i just run this cell you can see that five is not there so earlier five four six now it is only four six two eight seventeen three one okay so that is the difference right now and uh, if i go into python notebook so i would see the similar sort of thing so in python if i like to add something there is a particular method or function called add so as is a set then dot add the element okay so here the function is little different that is called push and as in the bracket you have to keep the set and the element but in python you have to first call the particular s that is the set then dot the method then add okay so if i just run this cell you can see that it has been added over there okay and now if i want to remove five the similar way there is a particular method called remove so s dot remove five so if i do that and if i run this cell you can see that like five is not there earlier four five six now it is only four six so it has already been added so the second objective has also been covered and the third objective is to see if there is any index value in the set object. So we know that in Python Julia, in the array or list, there is an index position. So in Python, it is start from like again, I'm writing these things. If you see my earlier videos, you already know that. So in our Python, okay, Python index start at 0 1 2 3 okay and in julia index start at 1 2 3 4 in this way it is happening so i'll just try to see if there is an index value in uh, julia set and python set object so if i go there so okay if i go there just a minute yeah so in julia the first position like four uh, if there is any index then the index of four should be one six is two two is three eight is uh, basically four one two three four so i like to see four so if i run this cell s bracket one as the index position if i run this cell just see method method error basically no method match index get index so there is no any method for this because this is unordered collection so it doesn't store any index value in set so let's see the same thing in python okay 
so in python if i go there so python index start from 0 1 2 3 so the position of 0 is basically 1 anyway. so if it's working then we should get the one value out of it so if i just run this particular cell type error trace back most recent call set object is not subscriptable so it is not subscriptable so that is the thing so so just a quick recap like what are the things you have learned so far so so far you have learned is a uh, one what is set okay two is add element or remove element okay and three is index position index position so these three things we have learned so far so i hope you like the video so if you if it helped you please subscribe to my channel and see more such a video, good videos i'll give the link of the playlist whole julia python playlist in the description of the video and i'll see you soon very soon with the new videos <clears throat> in this very playlist and data science kind of stuff thank you for watching my video thanks